Hello everybody. So here we have got a question on the basics of real numbers and you have to find the value of x square plus y square plus z square. So all these three equations, it will waste your time. Maybe you'll be able to do it, but it will waste your time. There is a trick in this question basically. So let us add these three equations and let's see what we are getting. So basically you see we are getting x plus 1 the whole square, y plus 3 the whole square, z plus 2 the whole square and that is coming out to be 0. Hello everybody. So here we have got a question on the basics of real numbers. So basically you have got three equations in x, y and z over here and you have to find the value of x square plus y square plus z square. So if you will actually try to for, uh, solve these three equations, it will waste your time. Maybe you'll be able to do it, but it will waste your time. So there is a trick in this question basically. So first let us rewrite these equations. So this is x square plus 6y that is equal to minus 17. The second equation is y square plus 4z is equal to 1. And the third equation over here is z square plus 2x is equal to 2. So that is z square plus 2x is equal to 2. So what we can do over here, we can add these three equations. So let us add these three equations and let's see what we are getting. So if we will add, you'll get x square plus 6y plus y square plus 4z plus z square plus 2x. And on the right hand side, what we will get over here minus 17 plus 1 plus 2. So that is nothing but equal to minus 14. So over here, basically we need to complete the square. You see over here, we have got x square and we have got 2x over here. So can I add 1 on both the sides of this equation? In the same manner, we have got y square and 6y. So you see if you have got y square plus 6y. So basically this 6y is nothing but 2 into y into 3. So basically in order to complete this square, in order to fix it in the form of a plus b, the whole square identity, we need to add 3 square over here. That is nothing but 9. So I can add 9 over here. So if we are adding 9 on one side of this equation, we have to do the same thing on the other side as well. In the same manner, you see we have got z square plus 4z over here. So you see if we have got z square plus 4z. So this 4z over here is nothing but 2 into z into 2. It means in order to fix it in the form of a plus b, the whole square identity, I need to add 4 over here. That is 2 square. So basically I can add 4 on one side of this equation and we have to add the same thing on the other side as well. So basically what we'll get in the left hand side guys, if you see we have got x square and then 2x and 1 we have added. So basically we will get x plus 1 the whole square. In the same manner, we have got y square plus 6y plus 9 over here. So we will get y plus 3 the whole square. In the same manner, you see over here we have got z square plus 4z and we have got over here 4. So basically this will give us z plus 2 the whole square. Correct? And you see on the right hand side, this will get cancelled out. 9 plus 4 is 13 plus 1, 14. So 14 minus 14 is 0. So basically you see we are getting x plus 1 the whole square, y plus 3 the whole square, z plus 2 the whole square and that is coming out to be 0. So you see these things can never be negative. These can be positive only because they, they are squares. Right? So there is no other possibility. If you want to get 0 over here, there is no other possibility but to take x plus 1 is equal to 0 or you can say x is equal to minus 1 in the same manner y plus 3 is equal to 0 so y plus 3 is equal to 0 or you will get y is equal to minus 3 over here so x is minus 1 y is minus 3 in the same manner we will get z plus 2 is equal to 0 so z plus 2 is equal to 0 or you will get z is equal to minus 2. So you see we have got x is equal to minus 1, y is equal to minus 3 and z is equal to minus 2 and we have to find the value of x square plus y square plus z square. 
So let us put the value over here, guys. So x is minus 1, y is minus 3, the whole square we have to find, and z is minus 2, the whole square we have to find. So what we are getting over here, guys, we are getting 1 plus 9, 14, basically. So you can say that x square plus y square plus z square will come out to be equal to 14 only. I hope you understood the solution to this question.